Hey, Ash from Being Swanglish here. And something occurred to me the other day, something that I haven't thought about in the UK for probably about 10 years. Literally, it's a feature of our mobile phones that everybody has. And in the old days, I remember when I was, I think I was 18 when I got my first mobile phone in 1998. And it had a feature called SMS, text messaging. Now at the time, you couldn't send a text. In fact, texting was only used by the, the telco, the telephone operators, to let you know when the network was going to be unavailable. And you'd quite often, back in those days, get a text in the morning saying, just to let you know, you won't have any mobile telephone for half of the day whilst we repair something. Now, at the time, we thought, yeah, OK, nice to get these little text messages, you know, coming through. Then they allowed you to send them. And it costed you, though. I think it was about... Was it 10 pence per message, something like that? Back in the old days, every single text cost to send. So you really could stack up quite a bill, especially when you started dating. And also at Christmas and New Year's, I remember when midnight would approach and you know, you just select everybody in your contact list and send a message saying, Happy New Year. Ooh. And then you'd hit send and it'd just go boo, 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 boo. Send like three or 400 text messages and then you get about a hundred eh, 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 as a hundred of them bounced because you had the wrong number or you tried to send it to a landline. Do you remember when they introduced in the UK, actually, you could send a text message to a landline and it would read it. So you could rather than texting a mobile, you'd send it to a you know a telephone in a house and you'd, it would ring the phone. You'd answer it and it'd say, hello, this is a text message from. Anyway, back to the point. Text messaging was big in the old days, but 20 years later, who in the UK sends a text message? Maybe your 93-year-old grandma might, but most people don't. It's all about WhatsApp. It's all about Facebook messaging, um, I, I message, I think it's called on the iOS. You know, we, don't, we just use data now. We don't use the text messaging, which is cellular. Anyway, then you move to Sweden. And this is the thing that I, I find really amusing. When I moved to Sweden, I was shocked at how many things use SMS still, text messaging. When I authenticate with some services, they want to send me a text. Yeah, OK, we still kind of do that in the UK sometimes. But not only that, just everything. When you get a parcel here, it text messages you. Um, when you contact people, they text you. I, I've not had text with people for so long, and yet it's used so commonly here. When you book an appointment with uh, a doctor or with a um, car inspection, which I'm having done today, I get a text message reminder. Now, again, you know, most of that in the UK is email these days, but here it's text. And it's just so funny to see text being used. I've never used it so much in my entire life. When a parcel's arriving with DHL, I get a text. I never had a text for a parcel in the UK. With Post Nord as well, they like to text. It's just so funny. Now, luckily, times have changed and text is, texting is now unlimited. You get it free within your contract bundle. But it's funny how, you know, some of the biggest tel telcos, telephony operators in Europe are based in Scandinavia. You know, here we've got Telia, um, we have Tele2, we have Three. Some of these big names, you know, some of them were founded in Scandinavia. And, you know, I guess that's why they've struggled to let go of text messaging. In fact, Nokia also, Nokia is a big uh, Scandinavian company. And of course, my first mobile phone 20 years ago was a Nokia where I used to do all my text messaging. So, yeah, funny little thought. How often do you use text messaging? Do you still use it or is it all data these days? Do drop a comment below. And if you enjoy these random videos of me talking utter nonsense about my adventures moving from England to Sweden, then hit that subscribe button. Meanwhile, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Cheers, folks.